Hey guys, I'm Daniel from Dolby Media, and today I'm going to be talking about ethical dilemmas in the workplace. Now, going into the medical field, you're going to have a lot of things that you're going to have to deal with that you don't normally think about. Now, ethics is a branch of philosophy that deals with the study of right and wrong or good and evil. It's not necessarily saying that there is good or there is evil or there is right and there is wrong. That's more of a religious thing. You kind of decide, you know, we're not going to get into that. But there is still a nature of things that should be done and things that shouldn't be done. Also a process of do the ends justify the means, things like that. So the, some of the things that you're going to see in the hospital that are ethical dilemmas are, let's start with your workplace itself. So there's going to be issues you're going to have with things like time fraud. Now, on a normal basis, you think an extra $2 here or there is good for you. But on an ethical level is what you're doing right. Now, you're technically taking away two minutes of time from the employer. So it is a form of stealing. And these are things that you should deal with. What kind of employer you're going to be? What kind of a person are you going to be in the workplace? There's also issues with management. How good of an employee are you? When your manager isn't looking, are you actually doing the right thing? Are you working hard? Are you doing the best you could do? Is this the kind of care that you'd want your family to see? So there's a lot of things like that that you should really sit and reflect on. And just before you get into the medical field, or if you're already in it, just kind of think about what kind of employee are you going to be? What is right? What is wrong? And decide that. Now, generally speaking, it's right, or at least society has deemed it right not to steal. So taking away money from your employer by lying about how much you're working, about overtime and things like that is a general wrong thing to do. But then you're going to have other ethical dilemmas. And these ethical dilemmas are going to probably go home with you. So there's going to be the ethical dilemmas that deal with patients. You're going to have situations where you're going to work in an ICU and the patient is probably going to be on their deathbed. They're going to be dying, but a family member is going to show up and they're going to say, mm, I want them alive. You're going to do some digging, maybe the doctor, the hospital. What you're going to do is you're going to discover that maybe that patient or the person's family is getting money from the patient. So they don't want them to die. These kind of things are very sticky. And in general, most hospitals have an ethics committee that have to deal with these kind of issues. Um, issues in terms of if somebody's keeping some kind of dietary restrictions or if somebody's a J witness, they're not allowed to have blood transfusions. But what if they're going to die? Do you give it to them? These kind of things are going to come across a lot. The best thing I got to say is if you ever face anything that's an ethical dilemma related to a patient's family or a patient themselves, definitely talk to management, bring it up right away to your superiors. These kind of issues usually, um, they kind of affect you. You take, you go home with them and you think about them a lot, but you're also going to have ethical dilemmas in terms of patient care. Let's say you're working with a patient and they have a swastika on their chest and you have to take care of them. You're going to have to face that. You're going to have to still take care of them and do what you have to do like you do to everybody else. But it's going to be very difficult. There's going to be people that have different ideologies than you or different belief systems than you. So let's say you're really religious and somebody comes in that's absolutely atheist or the opposite. You're atheist and somebody comes in hyper religious. You're still going to have to treat them. You're still going to have to take care of them. But these are things you should be aware of before you start your job. Think about the kind of situations you're going you're to probably be faced with and also how you're going to deal with them. It's going to be very tough. It's uh, people don't really realize that in the medical field, our job is to help as many people as we can the best way we can. We treat everybody as if they're own, our own family members, but there's some staff members that forget that they forget the principle of taking care of people and they start only caring about the money they're making or other going home or I don't know, whatever else they think about. And you lose sight of the humanity of our job. There's so many problems in healthcare because people have lost the humanity of ethics. So let's take a step back before you start your job, before you start working, just think about what kind of a person you're going to be, what kind of a practitioner, doctor, or anything else you're going to be. You're going to be faced with a lot of ethical dilemmas. And some of these dilemmas, you're probably going to have to consult a, a pastor, a rabbi, an imam. You're going to have to talk to somebody about them, if not that, a therapist, because they're going to really lay a heavy burden on you. So I wish you guys the best. Be ready for ethical dilemmas in the workplace. And I kind of just want to hear what kind of dilemmas have you had in the workplace? I really like reading your guys' comments. Let me know down below what kind of ethical dilemmas you've had to face in the workplace or you've heard about. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.